They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, but what happens when a pandemic comes along and makes those windows foggy, dry, or overworked? Well, here to help us shed some light on pandemic eye problems is licensed optometrist, Dr. Bridget Anderson. Dr. Anderson, welcome to the show. How are you? Doing well, thanks for having me. All right, let's jump right into it. So how has the pandemic affected our eyes? Due to the increased screen time, we've had a lot of complaints of headaches, tired eyes, and kids are actually becoming more nearsighted or their nearsightedness isn't being caught because they've spent the last two years indoors looking up close. So now that kids are looking far away again, we're getting a lot of them coming in realizing they can't see. So. The pandemic isn't totally to blame for this. There is a hereditary component to being nearsighted. So both parents are nearsighted. A child is more likely to be nearsighted themselves. But we do know that up close viewing time does increase nearsightedness. It makes it progress more quickly. And so just by nature of the pandemic with distance learning and social distancing, children aren't getting that regular recess, sports and other outdoor activities are reduced. And so they're spending a lot more time on screens for entertainment and for learning. And so as a result, they're not getting that crucial outdoor time and they're getting more potentially detrimental up close viewing time. And did you know for 2020, average amount of screen time was about 11 hours a day. After 2020, it's up to 19. Whoa. So that's a lot. That's, that's, that's a big uptick. That's a big uptick. Doc, Dr. Anderson, what can parents do to make sure that their kids' eyes just don't get any worse? One of the big things is outdoor time. Research has mm. shown that children that spend time outdoors are less nearsighted than those that don't. Our goal is two hours a day, but I tell my patients, you know, an hour is better than 30 minutes. 30 minutes is better than nothing. So even if you can't hit that two hour mark, getting outdoors at all is better than nothing. Um, secondly, you know, we've done social distancing. I tell my patients to do screen distancing. So either taking routine or even scheduled breaks from the up close screens, or I've told friends and family anything that they can screencast onto a TV across a room. So lectures, TV shows, do that versus being stuck on a computer, laptop, tablet all day. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, getting a yearly comprehensive eye exam is really beneficial because by doing that, a child's eye doctor can catch if they're progressing quickly in their nearsightedness. And if they are, there are actually treatment options in the form of specialty hard contact lenses, specialty soft contact lenses, or even drops that have all been shown to slow the progression of nearsightedness. All tip. right, and Dr. Anderson, I mean, we're all at home in front of our screens, zooming and doing all of that, that stuff. How is that affecting our eyes? Across the board, we've seen a huge increase in dry eye and dry eye complaints. Um, when we're looking at a screen or reading, our blink rate drops to about a third of what it should be. So normally, in a minute, we're blinking about 20 times. Whenever we're reading or looking at a screen up close, that drops to about seven times a minute. And mm -hmm. blinking is really important for two reasons. The first is that blinking rejuvenates our tear film. And the second thing is that it stimulates some of the glands that produce a portion of our tears. We know that by not stimulating those glands enough, they can actually die off. And so we're getting this vicious cycle of short-term dryness issues from not blinking and long-term dryness and discomfort issues from those glands being damaged. Well, Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for these eye-opening tips. And if you have dry eye, treat it. Treat it. Be aware of yeah. what makes it worse. Be nice to your eyes. 100%. And take breaks. Every 20 minutes, look up from that screen. Focus on something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. The rule of 20s.